Riders, I'm super excited. This morning, I'm out testing the brand new Bosch SX motor with 55 newton meters of torque, 600 watts of peak power, and the whole system unit coming in at four kilos. But you would know, you can't test a motor without a bike. And I saw the bike we're about to see at Eurobike, and I thought it was one of the most beautiful bikes I've ever seen in my life. Coming in at 17.5 kilos. Let's go check it out. Raiders, welcome back to Sands Bikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes, and that is quite fitting, because we're at M1, and they only make high-end e-bikes. The bike we just saw was the brand new World Cup, coming in at 17.5 kilos, but the bike I'm testing, because I'm so enduro, is the EN 400 SX, and it is an enduro bike. We've got 170 at the front, 160 at the rear, rolling on mullet wheels, 64.4 degree head tube angle, and we have a 468 millimeter reach in a large and the chain state, nice and short, 445 with that mullet, love that. And let's have a look at that motor. So it's got the new Bosch SX motor, 55 newton meters of torque, 600 watts of peak power, a 400 watt hour battery. You can also get a 250 watt hour range extender and the whole unit coming with the 400 watt hour battery is coming in at four kilos, which is very impressive. So who is M1? Well, M1 is situated just outside of Munich and they make high-end electric mountain bikes. And it's really interesting. This is one of the prototypes that was made like in the late 90s, early 2000s. And for me, it's really interesting to see where it all started and where we are now. So today, this is a mini review or a first look of the M1 EN 400 SX and the Bosch SX. How does it ride? How does it feel? How's the range? How's the sound? And how does it compare to all the other super light motors on the market? So it's pretty hot out here. Let's get out to the trails. So we're at the top of the first downhill and I'm really impressed. So first thing I noticed, it's not noisy. It's definitely quieter than the Bosch uh, CX. And I don't really hear it that much. Like it's, I haven't heard it how it goes down yet. So I haven't heard that rattle if there is a rattle, but the sound really good. The power delivery, it definitely rewards like, uh, like a seasoned mountain biker because it's very intuitive to how you ride. Like, you know, it gets steeper. You're obviously gonna go faster on the cadence. And yes, you can access a lot of power. It doesn't feel like a super light. In some areas it does, but in other areas, it feels more like a full power. So really impressed. Let's crack on and do some downhill. Okay, so I've been told now we've got a pretty long downhill. Let's see if I can downhill and explain the motor. First of all, the Bosch SX was released like two weeks ago at Eurobike, or three weeks ago. The motor's two kilos, the battery's two kilos, the whole unit. It's four kilos. It's got 55 newton meters of torque. It has 600 watts of peak power. And it likes to be in cadences. It does pull from around 50, but you're gonna get the maximum cadence, the maximum torque of the 600 at about 100 to 120. Okay, how does it feel? I'm gonna say it feels really natural. I mean, very intuitive. It feels just like you're riding a Bosch uh, CX motor, all the remotes, all the app, everything works the same. And the appearance wise, I reckon it's not the most discreet looking motor. Like if you compare it to like a TQ or the Fazua, but it's not bad. And uh, how does it feel? The pedal stroke is really natural when you go over the when you go over the limiter, so over 25 k's an hour, you really can't feel it. Let's listen to the rattle. So we're going down a pretty fast, choppy section here. That rattle is like almost non-existent. You really have to like really look out and try and hear it. And especially when you're concentrating on going downhill, 
I would say it's not a deal breaker. It's not even, it shouldn't even be in the conversation. It's, it's nothing. And you know, if you know the channel, I hate a Rattley motor. Uh, now, how would it compare to other motors on the market? I'm gonna say it doesn't feel like a super light motor. I mean, it feels more in between like a full power and a super light. Uh, it does give you, like, I'm gonna say it's not just for the fitter rider or for the seasoned mountain biker, but it definitely re rewards the seasoned mountain biker because it's very intuitive to your pedal stroke. So obviously if you, you pick up like a really steep single track, uh, you're gonna drop the gear down and you're, trying to, you're gonna try and lift your cadence up and get over it. And that's exactly what you do here. Um, you know, on a full powered electric mountain bike, a lot of the time you don't change the gears that much and you just grunt up and over. This definitely, you need more rider input. You need to know when to change gears. And uh, I've been really impressed. All right, legends, let's check out that 600 watts of peak power. We are on, it's like a ski slope or some type of thing in the mountains here. It's about 35% grade. This is steep as. Let's check it out. I'm in granny gear. I'm in gear one. Let's go. All right, so look at that low cadence draw. Look at that. Nothing. Nothing, no energy. Now let's go. Let's go even more. I can even go into gear 11. I'm definitely pulling. I'm going about 14 Ks up this super steep hill. Okay, so now we're setting off back up the hill and I'm in eco and I'm sitting my cadence. I'm pushing pretty hard, but it is turning over. This is a reasonably steep climb. Okay, now we go into tour plus, which is like EMTB mode, but a bit lighter. Now we're on EMTB, so the highest automatic mode. And this is under almost full load. The noise levels are definitely low and definitely acceptable. And now let's go full tilt and we go into turbo. And at the moment, my cadence, I'm sitting at about 80 and it's pulling perfectly. If I slow down to 50, it's still pulling. It's not like, it's not like the motor bogs down. It's still pulling. And the amount of watts you're taking from your legs, so the power, it's very minimal. So you can ride this motor in low cadences and it still will get you up to the top. It is not necessary to have really high cadences, but I will show you for a bit of fun. So we're gonna max it out now. So we're in turbo, I'm gonna get my BMX legs out and let's go. There we go, still pulling. Oh, how good. Okay, so we're on a pretty long downhill. So let's talk about the M1 EN 400SX. Well, I've only been on it like two hours, but look, I'm absolutely smashing through <laughs> this chunder. The bike, so it's a mullet, so we've got 170 at the front, 160 at the rear. It's 64 degree head tube, 64.4 degree head tube angle. Nice short chainstay, 445. Rolling on mullets. So the reach is 468 in a large, available in three sizes. I'm 183 centimeters and I'm riding the large, so, I might go a 50 mil stem. I think it's got a 40 on here, but it's definitely my size. And I'm loving to see these bikes, these new bikes in 2023, going backwards a little bit in sizing. I always say it, the bikes are getting too big. This is for me, a shorter bike is more playful and definitely pair that with the short change day of 445 and the mullet, pretty sweet ride. Yeah, definitely plush. It's got really supple suspension off the top. But then, 
it seems to ramp up. As I said, I'd really love to take this to a bike park and do some big hucks on it. Definitely with that 160 and 170 mullet, this is almost my dream geometry. This is probably how I would build a bike. Now we're gonna go and have lunch now. And after lunch, my crazy idea is to do an extreme range test. So lunch, little break, and an extreme range test. Let's go. Right, as you're probably wondering where the extreme range test is. Well, I'm gonna be a little bit cheeky and release that video in a week or two because it was a super long day out. And you're gonna to have to subscribe to Sam's Bikes, make sure you turn on those notifications because you don't wanna miss the extreme range test. Now to give you a little hint, it didn't do well, it didn't do bad. So it either did extremely well or extremely bad or average. And right, just put it in the show notes what type of vertical meters climbed you think we did on the Bosch SX motor. So let's talk about my findings on the extremely long day in the saddle on the brand new M1 EN 400SX. And first off, a massive shout out to Manu from M1. He has designed an epic bike. This bike for a super light enduro is absolutely sick. And also, he can ride with the best of them. I was struggling to keep up with him. So how was my time on the new Bosch SX? I'm gonna say I had a fantastic time and I think Bosch have done it again. So how's the appearance of the new SX motor? Well, I'm gonna say it's not an ugly motor, but it's not super discreet. Like it is a little bit bigger and it's not as integrated as some of the other SL motors on the market. And noise wise, when you're climbing, it's not a silent motor, but it's not a super noisy motor either. Totally acceptable. And when you're going downhill, there is a small rattle or clunk but you really need to look out for it and really try and hear it. So I'm gonna say climbing and descending, completely acceptable. But where this motor absolutely shines is its natural pedal stroke. So you can pedal it at 50 cadences, absolutely no problem. But then if you wanna access that 600 watts of peak power, it's so intuitive. So you have the EMTB mode, which is an automatic mode. And so you can pedal at 50. But then if you really wanna access that 600 watts of peak power, it starts to come alive at about 80 to 90 and absolutely peak out around 120 to 130. So I think it really does reward like the seasoned mountain biker that knows how to get the right cadence, knows how to climb technically when it's steep at high cadences because it is harder to climb at high cadences than low cadences. So I was really impressed by the new SX motor and how does it compare to other super light motors on the market? Well, let's have a look at the specs. So the new SX has 55 Nm meters of torque. It is two kilos the motor and it has 600 watts of peak power. And the TQ has 50 Nm meters of torque, 1.8 kilos and 360 watts of peak power. And the Fazua Ride 60 has 60 Nm meters of torque 1.9 kilos and 450 watts of peak power, but for a limited time. And the new Specialized 1.2 motor has 50 Nm of torque, 1.9 kilos and 320 watts of peak power. So on paper with that 600 watts of peak power, clearly the SX is the winner on paper. But riders, I have ridden very shortly the Ride 60, the TQ and the Specialized 1.1, only for about half an hour each. So I need to do more deep diving on those motors. But at normal cadences, the motors do feel quite similar. Obviously they have different characteristics, but quite similar. Where the SX does come alive is when you get your cadences around 80 to 120, 130. The motor really does come alive. And I'm gonna say it feels a little bit more like a hybrid. I'm not gonna say it does feel like a full powered e-bike because you do need to put in more work yourself. And I hear your rider saying, hey Sam, can I ride this with full powered electric mountain bikes? I'm gonna say, if you're a fit rider, you can probably ride any SL motor with full powered. You know, you're gonna have to, it's a bit of a compromise. You have to get them to go a bit slower. You're gonna have to go a bit faster. But you know, getting that 600 watts of peak power, it's not really realistic for a two to three hour ride because you do need to keep that cadence as high. So maybe you can, but you need to be a fitter rider. And who do I think the new SX motor is for? Well, I think it's for anyone that is looking for a super light uh, e-bike, firstly, and also someone that's looking for a very natural motor feeling that 
does allow you to access that full power if you have the fitness and the strength and the coordination. As I said, climbing tech is pretty hard at high cadences. So if that sounds like you, I think you should definitely check out the SX motor. And that's it for me today, riders. Massive shout out to M1 for inviting us to test the M1 EN 400 SX. Absolutely amazing bike. I had a great time on it. And riders, don't forget to subscribe to Sense Bikes because in the coming weeks, that extreme range test is coming. And you know it. Stay safe out there, and we're gonna see you next week. Whoa!